So we have figured out that since carbon cannot be created or destroyed, the total amount of carbon in a closed system, like the biodome, cannot change. Now we know it is really decreasing up here. And if that's the case, it might be getting stuck somewhere in the biotic matter. So we are going to go ahead and get on the digital model to think about where this could be occurring. Where is this carbon getting trapped? We know that the decomposer population is decreasing. They really were dying out. And so we are going to go ahead and run a simulation in the digital model to try and understand what happens with that carbon when the decomposers are dying out. If you have access to the digital model, you can pause and follow these directions to collect your own observations, but if not, you can follow along with me. All right, so here we are in the matter and energy digital model. And at first, I'm just going to let the ecosystem run for a little bit of time um, because the biodome started out seeming okay. They, they thought, you know, this is all working out. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just let it run. But then we saw that a lot of the decomposers were starting to die. So I'm going to go ahead and kill all those decomposers. And I'm noticing as I'm doing that, all of the decomposers are getting stored in this dead matter, all of those energy storage molecules. So I'm going to go ahead and let it run a little more. Now there are some decomposers coming back because they are getting energy storage molecules, but they also are, are dying again, as we saw. It was a pretty consistent decline. So I'm going to pause and I am going to go ahead and actually open up the info screen, and if we zoom in, I am noticing there are a lot of energy storage molecules available in the dead matter. Most of the energy storage molecules are actually here and in the producers as we see. There's almost no energy storage molecules in the producers. If we go ahead and take a look at the, oops, at the graph, I just really want to see energy storage molecules. Um, and I don't really care about the carbon dioxide at this time. I really want to understand where this carbon is going. So actually, I will turn this carbon on and I'm going to also turn this on. So the carbon is staying pretty consistent in abiotic and biotic here. I see when I killed the decomposers, I'm starting to see a decline in the amount of carbon dioxide, which we already know occurred. But where is this carbon then? I'm noticing the actual biotic carbon is actually increasing at that time. But where in the, in the biotic carbon is that getting stored? Well, something I can see is this pink line is really starting to increase. And that is the energy storage molecules in the dead matter, which is seeming to be where all of that carbon is getting almost trapped when these decomposers were dying out. So from our evidence in the digital model, it seems that the carbon that is missing in our ecosystem is actually getting trapped in energy storage molecules in the dead matter. When the decomposers were decreasing, there wasn't really anything to take the dead matter and take that energy storage molecule and break it down to release it to carbon dioxide. So the energy storage molecules that contain that carbon are kind of getting stuck in this dead matter here. So we have answered really 
where our carbon is in the ecosystem. But I still am a little unclear about why the decomposers were dying off in the first place. We're going to go ahead and continue our investigations in our final lesson and see if we can find any evidence in some files that we have from the biodome. I look forward to seeing you next time and trying to figure out and draw conclusions about what was wrong in the biodome.